Neil, uh, Neil says, what percentage of your buyers are work from home moving from the mainland? Can we give a really fast answer, like a percentage number or don't know? Let's just go, uh, let's go in, in reverse order. Heidi, uh, what percentage of your buyers are work from home moving from the mainland? Um, I, I would say only a small percentage. Small right? percentage, okay. I, I'm in a resort market. I have a lot of buyers who are buying part-time homes to go back and forth. Mm, got it, got it. And then I have some local buyers that live here, are buying a place to live, or are buying an investment property. Got it. Scott, what about you? What what percentage of, of your buyers are, are work from home, moving from, from the mainland? maybe five, 10% max. And I, and I'm even skewed because I have, you know, more of a, more of my clientele base is going to be a mainland draw. So that's going to be even skewed more compared to a lot of realtors here. Interesting. So, uh, okay. And Dylan, what about, what about your guys? What, what's been your experience with your brokerage? Yeah, I, I would agree with Scott. I mean, it's, it's, it's probably less, you know, less than 20%, maybe 10%, something like that. I don't have any real data on that though. And, okay. and again, you know, it's anecdotal because when we're on the list side, we don't necessarily know what the buyers are doing, right? So, right. Um, so we on only kind of get fifty percent of the picture. Yeah. Uh, right. 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 So it, it it there is a trend though. There's all kinds of stories. It certainly seems that's getting a lot of coverage. So it it's going to be interesting to kind of see what that the, quite, the bigger the bigger trend that I have is people actually transitioning here, um, moving, not necessarily working remotely. They're just moving here. Period. They're they're getting out of whatever area they were in. But it's not necessarily work from work from home at that point. You know, there's an interesting. I mean, there's a really interesting shift, right? I think there's a huge, a huge cultural, sh a cultural shift, a, a movement shift. People, there's all kinds of stories I'm catching uh, that people are not, um, uh, people are are not coming back from work. Um, they're not going back to their jobs. They're they're switching. They're leaving their jobs. They're starting. To, and there's all kinds of going on. There's a big big shift uh the the go ahead scott yeah there's an interesting one too i mean dylan touched on this a couple of shows back where i was looking at somebody i saw an article about the number of basically new entrepreneurial businesses being created and it's gone through the roof so people people are some some of them are quite you know shifting away from whatever job they were doing and starting their own thing now and they finally made that shift into being an entrepreneur yeah, that was Dylan's line, right? If you're if you're on, use that COVID money to kind of restart your your career, Dylan, is there anything that you want to add to that? I'm definitely noticing that there's people who are buying now to to rent it. So I mean, technically it's an investment, but they have an intent to move here in a couple of years. But they see the value in buying now and holding, just renting it out. You can cover your mortgage with your rent, and then and then you have something when you're ready to move a couple of years from now. And they're of the mind, like you said earlier, prices are going up. It's cheaper to buy it now then wait three or four years and then by then. So th there's definitely, I see a lot of that going on too. That's it, man. That That is definitely it. Um